Hello and welcome back to Technic Tutorials, your one-stop guide to learning the Technic Pack. I am Gary and Reba. This time I'm showing you something from Equivalent Exchange. This is the Transmutation Tablet. In the past I've said that stuff like the Philosopher's Stone was the leaping off point for the Equivalent Exchange mod, but the Transmutation Tablet is really one of the most intuitive things I've seen. And for this, you need four stone, placed like that, and four obsidian, placed in the corners. And you have to have it like this, you can't have them the other way around. And you need your Philosopher's Stone, and you can place it within the crafting grid formed by the Philosopher's Stone. And it creates this. And you get your Philosopher's Stone back, it just remains there and it creates the transmutation tablet and this you place it and I advise you place it on a block as it's the, a quarter the size of a normal block and then you right click it and it has this amazing looking GUI as everything in equivalent exchange has an EMC value it allows you to change one thing into another for example all those tungsten ore that you've gathered which are worth 16,384 EMC, can be turned into diamonds, which are worth 8,192. And the way you do this is you learn the item. So you place the item on the transmutation tablet, and it'll say down here, learned. I've already learned it on this one, and it keeps its memory in each world. In each world that you have each transmutation tablet, you will have to relearn everything. But once it's learned, it'll stay learned. There are some glitches with this on Techit, but on Technic it seems to be pretty stable. And then what you do is, you see it's got the EMC value written here. You can then create anything that you've already learned. So all of these have a lower EMC value than tungsten ore. So I can change it into two diamonds and that uses up all my EMC and it gives me two diamonds. And most things in, in equivalent exchange like the interdiction torch do have EMC values. So if there's something complicated to make you don't need to remake it you just need to gather enough EMC to have the equivalent of because the EMC of an item is determined by the combined EMC of everything used to make it. For example, a block of diamond is exactly nine times the value of a diamond. So I can get nine diamonds from that as proof. This thing at the top here, transmutation lock, this is the only limitation on the tablet. When I place a diamond on here, it says matter, and it means I can turn the diamond into any form of matter. However, if I place coal on here, it says fuel, and that's because I cannot turn matter into energy, which is essentially what fuel is. It is a solid form of energy, but I can turn fuel into fuel and matter into matter. So one coal is worth one coal to redstone or one nickelite. Equally, charcoal is a quarter of the value of coal, so I put four in there and I can get a coal out, and vice versa. Or I can get rid of two of those and get a redstone instead. Because they're all equal in value, it allows me to quickly and easily change one for another. Another downside of the transmutation tablet is it only knows things from vanilla Minecraft, from equivalent exchange, or things that are registered in what is called the Forge or Dictionary. And this is another mod, and it makes stuff like tin, copper, silver, the gems, tungsten, all that sort of thing show up on an equivalent exchange thing which must be programmed. So, unfortunately, not all mods are programmed into this dictionary, so Cole Coke, which isn't, 
that it's created from the Railcraft mod, it will not transmute, and you can see it has no EMC value, so you can easily see what can and cannot be transmuted. So Blast Furnace Brick here can't be, whereas a Collector Mark III can be. Say I wanted a ruby, and all I had was a diamond. I could put that in there, and there it is. And that leaves me with 7,168 spare, so I can turn it into 8 rubies. And you can continue to go down, so Lapis Lazuli is worth less than that. Cocoa Beans are worth less than that. Sapling, and there. One ruby is worth lapis lazuli, coca beans, and a sapling. Another function of the transmutation tablet is targeting. This, this space right here is used to set a target. So as you can see, I've placed a diamond there, so it shows the highest value things that I can make out of a diamond. But what if I want something worth very little, without having to go through and work my way down through the EMC values, I can place a target. So if I place a sapling in the middle there, it shows me stuff equal or lower in value to the sapling. And I can just get one of those. And it destroys the diamond, and the transmutation tablet saves the rest. The EMC stored in the tablet is saved. If I close out of it, and then return, it's still there but it does have a habit of wiping it should you sign off. As you can see, you can create things that are not just raw materials. For example, all of the tools in the game have EMC values, and you can burn anything without having to learn it. So if you do have something like a, a diamond sword that you want to get rid of, you can just chuck them in here, and it just contributes to the total. And there, see, I can't burn fuels. It will not let me burn fuels when all the EMC on the table is matter. So from this I can create as many diamonds as I want, and then iron, and then a copper. Finally, if you want to move your transmutation tablet, all you need is any kind of pickaxe, and it's destroyed relatively quickly, even with a wooden one and then you can replace it anywhere, and it keeps the EMC. But again, this can be a little bit glitchy, so don't store EMC in it if you can avoid it. Thank you for watching. If you have any requests, please send me a YouTube mail or comment, and I shall endeavour to take a crack at it. Catch you later.